and welcome to an Eternium video. Um, AMB Silver started just over 24 hours ago. I wasn't going to take part and I've decided from a comment on a previous video about uh, doing a budget run with a warrior. So I thought I'll give that a go. I haven't planned anything at all. My sole aim for this is to reach Troll 110 so we pick up Celestial Transform at Troll 90 and a second at 110. So that is the sole aim for the series. So I guess what we need to do is jump in and create a hero to start with. And try and do this on the cheap. Um, We want warrior. Oh, it's a budget run, isn't it? So, budgie create. Um, let's just check to see what our starting gems are for this. So we have thirteen, eight, two, six. No idea how many we'll use throughout the course of this. Oh, wrong button. Uh, there we go. Okay. Stuttering start. Now let's get going. Um, I'm going to level to 70, probably purely on story, and just do an exceedingly tedious process here at Severed Mountain. So I won't record the whole of getting to 70 because that would be the most boring video in history nor various things that'll move us down the way a bit quicker <laughs> we've got another charge let's keep going so we're through here Get out. Oh, we don't need to see this. We've seen it a million times before. Um, Larian is going to do his usual jibber jabber. Um, we don't really care about any of that. Brave the ruins. Find Marcus. Who we get on map three. So we shall get rid of all our gear from here. Um, don't want that either. I'm still going to expand for full inventory. These are nice and cheap. And I do want a second upgrade slot. So that's 400 gems. That's going to cost a fair bit. We might as well upgrade some skills while we're at it. What does charge do at the moment? It does increase our crit rating. That's good. So what I want to do is come to Ruby. There are some things that I want straight away. Um, even on a budget run, I think these three basic crates are very good. Um, for later, I'm going to need some Mark of Titans. So I'm going to buy those now, but we're not going to be using them until we're 70. And we're going to want essences at 70 as well, so we'll buy this one. And I shall come over and we shall craft our first set of gear, which is all basic stuff. So reduced crafting costs, gold costs 90% off, materials 80% off. Um, just standard weapons. Uh, go over a couple of swords, and we're going to take experience, and we're going to need to open these chests first, aren't we? Before we can craft anything. the 
how that looks in the stash in a bit. What I will do is sell these because they're not worth anything in terms of salvage. But we'll salvage that because we'll get a few tiny materials. Um, so, back to crafting. We want experience and ability rate, I think. And we want two swords. Then we are going to armor, heavy armor, normal. And again, just the same stats across the board. And it'll all be blue gear. When I say it's the same stats across the board, it's not quite right. Okay, we need a bit of gold as well, forgot about that. Um, no, not there. Here. Um, let's do that one. That should be enough to get us quite a way through. So shoulder pads, uh, pants, we're going to go with movement speed on those. And on the boots we'll have movement speed. And on the gloves, I've not crafted those before done these before so ability rate uh, we'll come back for a normal cape um, and then we want just a normal bracer it's probably not a great deal of damage that we're going to do at this stage but who cares we'll add that in um, and a belt as well just a regular and trinkets I'm going to take one normal trinket no mithril we can craft that because we bought those crates and just to make things go a bit quicker and if you haven't got fire lily it doesn't matter um, oh we've got the essences as well so I don't really want to waste useful essences that we're going to want at level 70 because the stat bonus that we're getting from this is tiny so we'll just use water because we won't be using that at all later on um, and the stats that we get from it are going to be absolutely minimal and not do a lot but our overall damage is increased by a huge amount throughout so I'll do that if I went to epic then it's 400% um, but we'll do this one and that will do us for the whole of leveling up to 70 So I think that's gear sorted to start with. Uh, did I not craft that other trinket? Just a regular normal trinket with experience and physical damage and we need to craft one more mithril so we shall equip that what I will do is pause the video for a bit I'm just going to wait for these to reach level 3 before we carry on playing so be back shortly so those skills have upgraded to three. I'm going to set them on their way to four, but we're not going to wait any longer. A um, couple of things I forgot to do. So we will unlock uh, additional ability slots since we're going to get a few extra skills, hopefully in the next level. Um, I'm going to open up the second companion slot as well. Again, greatly reduced cost. So we'll do that. 
and one other thing I forgot we're going to want an experience booster now depending on your budget um, I'm gonna get a 200% booster just because I don't have a great deal of time to play um, but a hundred percent it will take you a little bit longer to level up but it's fewer gems to spend 150 for two of these um, but I'm going with a 200% just for now and that's hopefully all the gems spend for a while and we can gain some of these gems back by doing dailies um, I'm not going to bother with any jewellery until about level 20 just because the bonuses are so small at this stage so we can run into map 2 <coughs> This is slightly different on PC compared to mobile. We've got a bigger area at the start <laughs> to worry about. Before we come round to what you'll, if you're just a mobile only player will eventually reach a bit that looks familiar to you so now we're at the bit that we all know hello that level done uh, we reached level four so we've got a few abilities unlocked um, let's take cleave and put that in there and that's all we have for now oh we've got this not too bothered about that skill uh, turn in the quest with a larian and we shall go grab marcus part of the law. Might as well kill the murlocs. I know it's on one of my dailies. Where's that come from? Be gone. throw we'll take it for now won't really be using it just to stop them flashing we'll click on them um, so is there anything I want to do or waste time or should we just carry on uh, store offer definitely not that's not a good weapon for what we're doing be obsolete by the end of this level anyway now if you're not using a fire lily you probably wouldn't need to craft new weapons before coming out on this level I am definitely going to need them before we move on any further Oh, we've managed to pull in other things. How annoying. Bad guys ahead. 
We'll open this chest, why not? Ignore that one back there. If you're wondering why haven't you equipped Marcus, it's because I completely forgot. Um, in the zone, not too bothered about that. Oh, Marcus is with us. Is he lying dead somewhere as he got stuck? He must be stuck somewhere, being lazy. What a great companion he is. <laughs> um, so there we are with that one. So, what are we going to do? Small treasure, that will go into here for later. Um, what I'm going to do is craft new gear, except the fire lily, but everything else will be level appropriate with exactly the same stats that we have at the moment. So I should do that off camera so I don't bore you and do a bit of inventory management. And we're back. I made a slight mistake with these. I've put ability rate instead of physical damage, but I think at this stage it's not going to matter. One little jot. Um, so the abandoned farm out of nowhere. Where we will stand around mostly getting tickled by the enemy. Not that we have a big AoE, so we might as well kill them as they spawn. Not like a mage, just standing in the middle, shattering or using long range attacks. <laughs> without moving And we're through there. Level 14, so we've unlocked shield block and tough as nails. Mm. We're not going to need that yet. Um, this is what we're waiting for, whirlwind as a priority to upgrade. defiler that should just be a case of run through the store so this is absolutely useless um, if they'd all been experienced then maybe and a hundred gems for something that's going to be obsolete in a few minutes definitely don't if you see an offer like that avoid you're wasting gems because they're going to keep spawning. Might as well kill these while we're up here.
Let's see if we can get through without pulling too many enemies. <laughs> We did. Slowed down in killing things again. Now we have level 11 weapons up against. Are we level 14? That shouldn't be that slow. that one done <coughs> I think we get Eileen on the next map don't we on my way. I think that where are we level 18 do I want to increase anything at this stage Actually, we can unlock this, can't we? Let's put in. Not that we're upgrading anything at the moment. A bit of speed. Rescue Eileen. What I will do is quickly replace the weapons. Normal sword, 18. Just so we can hit a bit harder. And those are sell. Those are salvage. That can go there. And we've unlocked another ability. Uh, frenzy. That's going to change anything at this stage and a couple more resource crates that's nice so we'll rebuild our some of our essences that we've used in crafting so far okay um, let's get rid of sellable items salvage salvageables and go find Eileen after checking out the store Twenty-five thousand gold for fifty percent, but then I'm going to have to spend gems to get more gold. Um, and that one again, avoid like the plague. for speed here <laughs> 1 to 70 in lightning speed is nice but it's more of a sort of boasting look how quickly I did it it's what you do after you get to 70 that counts really thank you Eileen chest can't be bothered with the one up there we don't need to kill everything around here but we're going to pull them all in anyway so and we're through Level 
level 21 has unlocked Duelist. Uh, we've grabbed now medium treasure, a bunch of dungeon keys, so a bunch of things I'm not going to use. There is good experience to be gained in dungeons. Maybe when we've got some gold later, because I don't think these offers go away. Nice gear, but what a waste of real life money. Because we're going to be level 30 and this will all be obsolete very quickly. So definitely, definitely, definitely don't spend real money on that sort of thing. Um, where are we for gear? 21 things are getting very obsolete what I will do is recraft the gear we'll meet back up and then I'll show you what I'm going to do just to reach 70 but I won't uh, video the whole thing because it's going to be very repetitive okay um, we're at level 20 don't need Cleanse the ponds. We want to craft jewellery. Um, I want experience, so I'm actually going to select it. I'm just going to take green rings. It's going to be 15 gems in total for those. Otherwise, you can go for random attributes and it becomes a gold cost and you can take a gamble on what stat you get um, just for convenience I'm throwing 15 gems at that I'll keep those now until about level 40 I think um, so what I will be doing from here on on Severed Mountain is spawning in I'm going to cast a portal just up here and I'm going to rush in, kill these first two groups and exit. So that gained us one level in no time at all. And we need to cast that portal before we engage the enemy. Uh, let's just get out. We're up to level 23. If I was to engage the enemy and then try and cast portal, it's going to take 20 odd seconds to cast, and we don't want that, so. And then we get out again, and we'll do one more, and hopefully that will get us to level 25. Ooh, as I said, <laughs> nearly made a big mistake there. So that has got us to 25, which is the one that I wanted to get to. So at level 25, we have unlocked Whirlwind, which is the one that I'm most interested in getting hold of. Um, big priority now is to get that one upgraded to level 10. Um, so what I am going to do for now is wait for these to finish upgrading and then I shall start working on some of these skills. What have we got there? Cleave, we'll move that to one, we'll put Frenzy in at two. Um, and I will start upgrading something alongside Whirlwind and we shall meet up all i'm going to do is recraft gear <coughs> roughly every 10 levels or until it feels too slow just killing those first two groups but since that's all i'm going to be doing is going in killing those first two groups coming out and that's very boring for you to watch so i won't record that and we'll meet back up once that's done up to level 69 now so just a few more runs and we should hit 70 so in we go 
spawn that. I've started using Eileen just to group them all up. Makes it a bit easier. Um, <clears throat> as far as skills go, I'm, I've got Rending Slash Steel and Cleave. We'll put in Frenzy maybe later. Whirlwind Charge, Leap on the go. Uh, then I've got Power Infusion. Uh, fleet footed and tough as nails just sitting there um, priority is to get whirlwind to level 10 we want whirlwind at level 10 so that when we cast it we're going to drag all the enemies along with us as we move through trials just grab a bit of gold and out we go uh, so this run should see us to 70. Oh dear, what am I doing? Pressing the wrong button. <laughs> okay, let's get out. We've hit level 70 anyway. <clears throat> so we've got an ephemeral box and some glory. Uh, we have done that in... 27 and a half minutes or 27 39 so that's not bad going for a not very experienced warrior player um, I'm gonna put the ephemeral box in here for now um, <clears throat> reason I've got the jewelry here is just to show you that I crafted at level 21 then I did another set at 40 and the final set at 60 uh, we've hit champion level one. We'll give that to uh, crit damage to start with, I think. Um, so it's Saturday at the moment, Saturday night. I want to now do pretty much nothing until Whirlwind is in a much better position. So. I am probably not going to play the character at all until at least Tuesday. I want this up to 8 or 9 and then we'll start running some trials. Um, I think we can run trials without it being 10 to start with but we're going to need it at 10 eventually so I want to get that as far along the road as possible so in the meantime I will be running dailies on the main account and probably turning those quests in on this character um, that's going to give me 200,000 experience and 20 gems and I think 50,000 gold off the top of my head uh, per quest so that's going to mean that when we come back in the next episode I will have quite a few more champion levels but I won't have actually played the character um, and we'll have some skills upgraded a bit further as well by then um, there's all these offers here my gem balance did have to go down slightly um, there was I was scrolling through the gem off or the offers and as I was just sort of swiping the mouse like this so I accidentally clicked on something it gave no do you want to buy this warning it just took all my gold gave me about level 60 character gave me two level 18 items and uh, this 50% EXP booster so I did need to uh, get some more gold in order to be able to craft gear that's a problem with the store thing here rather than me trying to get an advantage in some way um, upgrade that no we'll do leap there we go and I will knock a bit of time off for now and that's all I will be doing upgrading skills for the next three or four days so any questions or comments feel free down below if you made it this far thank you very much for watching